Well, good morning, church. Welcome to the worship room. My Hello. name is Josh. And I'm May. Hey, yeah. nice to see you this morning. Hello. Hey. Great to worship with you. Yes, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Hey, mm. why don't you sit back and relax and get somewhere comfortable, put away the distractions. Mm. You know, we get to worship our King this morning. Yes. You know, in, in Hope You See, one of our values is that worship is our honor. Right. You know, I love that worship is our honor mm. and we can worship the King of Kings because He's here with us right now. Yes. He's here with yeah. us. We don't have to push or strive to be in His presence. Mm. But when we're in His presence, chains are broken. Yeah. There's healing mm. and lives are changed. Yeah. So yeah. let's worship this morning. Yes. Just let me pray before we go, mm. hey? Yeah, sounds good. Father, we thank you that we can thank be in your presence this morning. Yes. Lord, that, it, that we have the honor to worship you, Father. Mm. Lord, we pray this morning as we worship, Lord, the chains are broken. Mm. Lord, the people watching this right now, Lord, that there is healing and salvation in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Father. You are the word at the beginning, one with God, the Lord most high. Hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you, our Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. And we sing, He didn't want heaven without us. Didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. And what could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. Jesus Christ, my King, what a wonderful name it is, and nothing compares to this, what a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus, oh, what a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. It's more powerful than any other. It's greater, it's stronger, it's powerful than any other. It's greater, it's stronger. It's your name. It's your name. More powerful than any other. Come on, let's sing, Death Could Not Hold. Death could not hold you, the veil tore before you, you silenced the voice of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life. Powerful name it is, the 
believe that today, God. <laughs> we believe that you are more than powerful, God. <laughs> Your strength is more than enough, Father, to break every chain, Jesus, to intervene. <laughs> oh, Father, to jump into our lives, God, and totally change and transform everything. We thank you that it's who you are. It's what you do. <laughs> We believe that confidently this morning, Jesus. You are the chain breaker, God. You are the way maker. You're our hope in the midst of fear, God. You are our peace. You're our joy. <laughs> and everything seems frustrating and, and down, Father. You are what lifts us up. We love you this morning. <laughs> yeah, wow. It's good truth, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. Great truth. <laughs> awesome. Well, I just want to share um, just quickly around something that I feel God wanted to encourage us in today. And it's something that I'm like, yes, Lord, I want this to be a greater revelation in my own life. But it's that He is greater. God is greater. I want you to hear Him saying that this morning to you over your circumstances, wherever you find yourself, hear God saying, I am greater, the greatest actually. <laughs> and we read about it in 1 John 4. 
And you know, I, hmm, I don't know about you, but in this season, it can be really easy just to feel super overwhelmed by everything that's happening around us. And, and the culture of the world right now is so fearful and uncertain and quite shaky. <laughs> and you can feel very like, oh Lord, like, how do I walk in this? And you know, how do I walk in you in, in an environment and in a space that can just be so dominant and so overpowering? And this is what John actually warns us against, like false teaching and how to have a, a spirit of discernment for what lies and what is truth. And this morning we're reading truth today, wherever you are, we're declaring truth. But in 1 John 4 verse 4, it says, little children, just you and I, right? Little yes. children, <laughs> you can be certain that you belong to God and have conquered them, talking about these false teachings. For the one who is living in you is far greater than the one who is in the world. And that's the truth this morning, that the one who is far greater is actually living inside of us, which I think is amazing. God, who's the greatest being ever, <laughs> actually isn't so great that He's out of reach. Yeah. Um, and that we're so less that we're not able to be with Him, but He's chosen to actually put His greatness inside of us to live inside of us. We carry His greatness. We carry His power. We carry His authority. And it's greater actually than the spirit and the culture of the world around us. And this this morning today, that's what I want us to be reminded of and just firmly grounded in that we have the spirit of greatness within us and it is greater than anything around us. And we carry authority and our confidence to be able to actually tell the things around us that God is greater, <laughs> that God is good, that He is superior, that He reigns over everything. And you know, there's another scripture in Romans 12 verse two. It says, stop imitating the ideals and the opinions of the culture around you but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation, a reformation of how you think. This will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. And I think this scripture helps us um, realise how to live in this spirit of greatness that God has placed inside of us. We surrender to the Holy Spirit, right? We just let Him do an inward work within us to transform us. We let His Word and His truth dwell and come alive within us <laughs> so that it gives us that confidence and yeah, just that spirit of greatness that we're able to walk in it really well. So I encourage you, we're gonna um, sing another song that talks about exalting Jesus. And this is a great opportunity. Worship is a powerful tool. I mean, you said it before, to help change, <laughs> change what's happening around us and in our world. And I encourage you just to have that at the forefront of your mind, that God is greater. And that's why I sing. That's why we exalt. <laughs> and as we do that, that things start to change around us. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you are greater. <laughs> And I will exalt you. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. You are my God. Sing it again.
such an honor to worship with you this morning yeah and to worship with you mags yeah. it's been fun same for you josh yes it's been fun <laughs> it's been so hey good. why don't we declare the blessing together yes you ready yes i am let's go i, I pray, pray that god, god who is the source of hope, hope will fill us completely with joy and peace because we place our trust in him then we will overflow with confident hope through, through the power of the holy spirit, spirit. amen amen Woo, we love Let's you guys <laughs>